called Not Gold Step! Which means no gold town. But this isn't a geography lesson, it's a play. It's a tale that happened a long time ago on the banks of the river. And which one, you may guess? Why, the Rhine, of course. Once upon the Rhine, so the story my grandmother told. There once was a quaint little town that quite suddenly ran out of gold. The queen was so angry she started to twitch, and everyone wondered if she was a witch. The prince was quite worried about mom and the gold, but the prince was a wimp, came down with a cold. The townspeople never were told of the mess. In olden days, secrets weren't leaked to the press. Yes, once upon a
she can perform this wonder you claim, I'll make you a very wealthy man. Oh, then tell the truth. Truth to be told, she can. She can?
you do it again? Well, why? How much gold do you need? A lot. Well, isn't that enough? When it comes to gold, there's never enough. Valets, take care of this hunk of gold for me, please. Put it in my treasury. And bring on more straw while you're there.
town crier know that a wedding is soon to take place? Whose? Well, the prince and of course. Good heavens, I don't even know your name. Well, it's Christina, your Christina, Majesty. Christina, very regal. Go quickly, girl. The prince will need your help dressing. Christina, I'll send two of my maids to help you dress. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. This is all I have. Never mind that. Maxie, does Mama keep her promises or what? Yes, Mama. She's beautiful. Speaks well and has what I most admire in anyone. What? what? That golden touch. <laughs> Come on, Max, it's time to go get you dressed.
scare you? No, I knew you'd come. Oh, then why so sad? <laughs> what is it? More straw to go? Oh, no problem. Oh, but there is a problem. I haven't anything left to give. Nothing? Well, nothing of any value, anyway. Oh, that's <laughs> not true, Christina. How did you know my name? I never told you. Oh, there's lots of things I know about you. You know, I've been watching you a long time, and I know for a fact that you have something a lot more valuable than those bubbles. You what? Oh, please come away from me and be my pride. Just say you will, and anything you desire will be yours. But I'm to be married to the prince. Only if you can spend the gold, then you can. Oh, but you can. For a price you won't pay. No, oh, I already told you I can't. Don't you understand? All too well. All right. I'll I'll make you another bargain. I'll uh, spend your gold for a different price. Name it. You must guess my name. I'll give you 24 hours to do it. And if I can't guess your name? Become my bride. Forever and always mine. Well, that can't be too hard. I mean, how many names can there be anyway? Only one like mine that you'll never get to name for you when you're getting married! <laughs>
just isn't gonna be easy. We're in the woods! I know! This isn't gonna be easy! Uh... <laughs>
find him? Did you go into the woods, Father? Did you learn how his name is? Father, say something! <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, what? Yes, tell me about Can I stand up? Oh, come on, Father. Now quit stalling for time. What is his name? I don't think you're going to believe me, Christina. At this point, I believe anything. You've got a good point. What? It was. It was. It was Rumble Pigskin. No, that's not right. Oh, oh Rumble Coonskin. Oh, oh, I've got it, got it, got it, got it. Rumble Deerskin. No! Will you guys help me out while you're just sitting there? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll count to three, and then we'll all say it, okay? One, two, three.